you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fun dabby dozy day today. Today we've got a cheeky little unboxing for you. Oh yeah, it is a cheeky little unboxing from Louis Vuitton. It is very unusual and I got it at a discount, but it is brand new, not pre-loved. You've got questions, I'm going to answer them all. I will insert some little footage here for the unboxing itself while I tell you what it is I went for and where I got it from. Now 24S is owned by LVMH so you can buy things like Louis Vuitton and Bottega Veneta and a few other big brands there but you can buy past season stuff that didn't sell out in store and sometimes you can pick up a little bit of a bargain. Not all the time. Before it starts sounding like this is sponsored, it's not sponsored, I wish. You can create an account with 24S and once you've created an account, you can add a love list, which is basically a wish list, basically save for later. Now I have stacked that full of Bottega, Loewe, Louis, Fendi, obviously I've got my eyes on everything and this particular piece has been on my love list for a very very long time and I decided now I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it and the reason I decided to go for it now is because my brother's getting married in a few days and I thought it would be perfect for the wedding. Obviously not just as a one-off for the wedding but I thought it would be perfect for the wedding. So coming up soon <laughs> I'll have a wedding outfit try on. <laughs> Stick around for that styling video. So you probably should hit subscribe so uh, you don't miss out when the notification for that video pops up. Let's get into it. When I placed the order for this particular piece, I said that I didn't want to have all the fancy packaging, but I seem to have got the fancy packaging, or at least their standard packaging is very fancy. Look at this box here. Look, they even personalized it. Look at that, isn't that good? Lovely. Love from Paris, it says. And that's my invoice and stuff on the bottom. Within that box was this box. And you can see it's got a 24S on it. 24S there. And it's got a magnetic closure there. I've already told you it's Louis Vuitton. But here we go. Oh, again, from Paris with love. Love that. And here is my Louis Vuitton dust bag. And... I just take this out for a second. Look, they made a lovely little nest for it, a little bed, a little lovely little cushion. Love that kind of detail. So here we go. This is the Louis Vuitton. This is a Louis Vuitton dust bag because this is past season but not pre-loved. It's got your current kind of Louis Vuitton and I don't actually know what season this is from but it is a seasonal piece and you'll see that in a second. Any guesses? Any guesses? Let's try and get this. Oh, it's got a chain. It's got a little chain. What do you think? <laughs> this is the Papillon trunk. And it is a version of the one that they currently have live on the website. Now this is brand new, the stickers are still on the S-lock. The detail on this is pretty fabulous. So this is pink. This is very, very pink. I liked the look of the canvas one on Amelia Rose. I thought it suits her very well. She looks fabulous wearing it. And I had concerns about things like the strap length on me because I'm a little bit a little bit more on the curvy side than Amelia. So I've seen how it looked on her and I was rather taken with it, but I didn't want it in the canvas. I saw this one. It's pink. It is very, very pink. I do love this pink. They just call it Rose on 24S. I don't know if it's a more specific pink colour, but the same as the um, canvas one, it is the Papillon trunk that comes with... <laughs> the chain strap and it also comes with a crossbody strap. You have the S-lock opening there. It's got this gorgeous purple suede microfiber, whatever you want to call it, a lining and we've got the smooth pink. This is the ridged epi leather. We have the S-lock with LV on it. You've got your clasp there. You've got your purple microfiber interior and it is just one bucket. We'll see what fits in a minute. 
all along the trim we've got these little rivets and we've got this lovely little print all the way around the trim it goes all the way all the way around all the way around the outside we've got more rivets there it's really really tiny but the rivets do actually say Louis Vuitton that goes around in the little circle there so I don't know if that's going to be able to be picked up on the camera it's really really tiny but it does have Louis Vuitton stamped on it we have LV stamped into the lobster clasp and we also have Louis Vuitton stamped onto the lobster clasp there as well as Louis Vuitton stamped into these rivets. And on the inside there you can see it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in Italy. There are two D rings on the side of the bag. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. I did when I tried this on, I opened this because I wanted to check it immediately. I opened it, I tried it on with the straps, I put the chain on the bottom D ring but then when I wanted to hold it with the chain, it kind of fell over a little bit and I didn't like that. So I moved it to the top D ring, but I also had the crossbody on there as well. And I will share some inserts some mod shots of me wearing it so you can see what the drop length looks on me and everything. And I have got it adjusted to the longest strap. That is my go to anytime I get a bag with a crossbody adjustable strap always go for the longest setting possible. Let's have a look at a few more of the details and then we'll have a look and see what fits and tell you what my plans are for it. The shape is obviously unusual because it is barrel shaped. Amelia has mentioned before when she puts hers down, it rolls forward until it naturally stops. This use, The S-lock becomes a sort of a break. It stops it from, you put it down, it rolls forward and then the S-lock stops it and it holds it in position. So I am aware that that could be annoying these are all considerations. These are all reasons why I didn't buy it the instant I saw it. So it will roll over a lot and I have to decide if I am happy to be dealing with that or if that's going to annoy the heck out of me. It's epi leather, so the chain. Sounds a little bit rattly as it touches the, the leather. Uh, I don't know how much I would wear this as a crossbody. I think I would probably prefer to carry this as a more of a handheld bag. On an evening out, I'd probably just even just use it as a clutch bag and take the chain off it altogether. And then I could use my Dale's Addiction, my Dale's Addiction handbag hook and then hang it from one of the D-rings there under the table or something. So I don't think I need to have the chain strap on it at all times, but it does look pretty and it does look cute when you're wearing it crossbody and it's just sort of hanging there. It looks cute, but is it gonna be annoying? <laughs> I'll tell you the price and what I paid for it in a minute. But first off, I'm gonna say why I wanted this bag. You know I love my pink, I am a pink girl head to toe. I was trying to throw you off the scent today with a bit of a, a bit of a khaki linen shirt, but I'm a pink girl through and through. And I did say I need more pink bags. I've got my hot pink Alexander McQueen double handed double zip around tote bag. Wow. I've also got my Mulberry Lily, which is in a sort of a darker, they call it foxglove pink, but it's kind of more of a darker purpley pink and I wanted something in this kind of colour. Now I have got two bags in this kind of bubblegum pink already, one of which is my limited edition Longchamp Mr A collaboration and the other one is my Marc Jacobs, um, I think this is the micro tote in the beautiful bubblegum pink. So they're both really, really lovely bubblegum pinks and they do go really well with the khaki. I'm looking in the viewfinder. Ooh, look, ooh, so pretty. But they're very, very casual, very, very casual. So I wanted something that was going to be in this colour, still really playful. Turn it around, Gwenny. Still really, really playful in this kind of pink colour, but something that was a little, maybe more spectacular, a little smarter, something that I could wear, dress up and dress down because I love me a versatile handbag that I can wear for both. I also really wanted something in this colour that was suitable to go with my collar breeze, the pink on my collar breeze. And this one really does hit the nail on the head. I was worried about the gold toned hardware being a bit bright and a bit leery, a bit too gold. But actually it works really well with the gold tone heels on my collar breeze. So that's why I bought this bag. That's where I bought this bag from. And now let's talk about how much I paid for this bag because this bag is up on 
the 24S website at £1,962. The canvas option on the Louis Vuitton website is on at £2,230, I think. Scratch that, it's £2,290. And although I have seen this in epi leather, on the Louis Vuitton website, it was only available in black. That is no longer showing on the Louis Vuitton website in the UK. So I don't know if that's something that's gonna show up on the 24S website at some point, or if it's just never gonna come back. I did also see a bright yellow, one of these on the 24S website, and I might have sent it to Amelia and said, oh look, bright yellow, maybe you need one of these ones. I'm so naughty. So this bag was 1,962 Great British Pounds. I got 10% off using my first purchase code, which actually worked on the Louis Vuitton. So I got this for 1,765 pounds 80 pence. That is a considerable saving of almost 200 pounds on a genuine Louis Vuitton piece and you don't get discounts on Louis Vuitton. I've tried lots of other codes on 24S. They're doing a singles promotion at the moment with 25% off 250 or more and 30% off 1,000 or more. And, and those codes don't work with Louis Vuitton. I don't think they worked with Fendi either. Or with Loewe. I've been feeling this bubblegum pink all week, so I have actually been using this bag. It has been my bag of the week, and I've got receipts and all sorts of rubbish in there. So we'll just transfer what I've got in there into here and see what we can do. First thing is my mini pochette accessoire. It isn't absolutely rammed like usual, but it does still have quite a fair few bits in there. So let's drop that in there. Will that Yep, closes, no bother. I'd be interested to know what everyone else puts in theirs if they have this. I've got my key pouch, not my key pouch, my coin purse, round coin purse. Got my clay. Got my current card holder, which is my Lueve freebie from Harrods. Oh yes, you heard that right. Go and check out that video. Let's pop that in there. Got my Dale's Addiction little handbag hook. So that's there. My phone is on my desk, so I'm gonna go and get that. Don't think there's any doubt that my phone would fit in like that, but I want to close it because I like to have it closed. So let's pop that in there. Turn it on its side, make it a little bit better. Pop that back in there. That is all of that stuff. That's how it looks from the side. Now for the moment of truth. Because my mini pochette accessoire is stuffed right at the back there. So let's see if this works. It closed with no issue. It's not bulky. It's heavy. <laughs> It's heavy with all of that stuff in there, but this this is all leather and hardware. It's a, it's a heavy little piece, but yeah, what do you think? I'd be really interested to know what you think of this purchase. Is it too much money to spend on something so kind of leery with the pink and bright gold color combination? Do you think it's the perfect bag for me? Because as I said, I need more pink in my life. I need more pink bags in my life. What do you think of it? It only arrived yesterday. I had a very quick look at it. I checked it against my collar breeze to make sure the color match was gonna work okay, but I really need to do a bit of a dress up styling session for what I'm going to wear for my brother's birthday and try it with lots of other outfits as well, just to make sure that I can actually use this as an everyday bag as well as a special events bag, which is what my aim is. I want to be able to use this when I feel like it, not only for specific occasions. Really interested to know what you think, so let me know down in the comment section down below. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Did you find it fun? Did you find it informative? If you did, please show it the thumbs up, love, and until I see you, yes you, boop. For the next video, please stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fantabby dozy, and bye bye